welcome to another episode of Tea Time with Terza. My name is Terza Andrews. It is my pleasure to be with you today. Hope you're waking up, rise and shine, ready to give the world exactly who you are, a vision of transparency. Today, we're going to be talking about networking with one another and how we can benefit one another just by connecting and getting to know one another. Yes, the premise of our show is purpose, and we do this with purpose to reach, encourage, aspire, create change, and help heal nations all over the world. And before we get started, I want you to go ahead and get yourselves a pen and pad. Turn out your um turn off your phones, put your phones on airplane mode and begin to focus on what I'm sharing with you today concerning networking with one another. And the premise and the purpose of our show is to reach, to restore, encourage, aspire, create change, and help heal nations all over the world. I would like to give a special shout out to Mr. Ivan Meisner. I hope I'm saying his name correctly. Is the person that I have been listening to this morning concerning networking. And I call myself a network extraordinaire. As a matter of fact, on Facebook, our networking group for Strength and Honor Women is Network Extraordinaire. There you can take your business information and put it there. But I want you to also remember that the importance of networking is not about selling your product. It's about networking and getting to know and, and and expanding network. Yes, the people that are around you, who is within your circle that knows the, your client. There may be a person within your circle that knows someone that they can refer you to. And I want you all to understand that I'm going to leave you with some very important information where you can connect with Mr. Ivan and also... Uh, also with his networking group. I have inquired about this group because at the end of the day, it's about getting to your niche, the people that you are called to, the people that you are called to serve. And this morning, I made sure I took a lot of notes. And so y'all get ready to Connect with Mr. Ivan and those uh, people within his network. I have connected with people in Strength and Honor Women. We have over 360 something women. However, I don't know what you do and how I can serve you if you do not put that information in the group. If you don't uh, start putting your words and your actions into action. Let us know what you're doing out there. Listen, it's very important that you take advantage of the time that we have together. Every morning that I get up to bring you information, value, value that is going to help build your network, help you build your business, help you build your relationships. Yes, that's why we're here. We want to restore you back to your professional self. You know, there was a time in your life when you took care of business, you know, and then you got off track and then you started doing things you weren't supposed to be doing. And so you became a procrastinator. You became a person that was lackadaisical, that just really wasn't focused on what you were brought here for. So as I stated before, this show is about helping you connect with your purpose, your life living purpose, your divine purpose, why you showed up in this earth, why were you born, why were you the one out of billions of sperm to make it through, to make it through into this life that we're living right now. And so this morning, I want you to make sure that you have pen and paper so I can share with you how we're going to go about networking with one another and how you are to network within your circle of uh, business partners and people that you're connected with on Facebook, social media, so on and so forth. I don't really use um, Instagram. However, 
I'm learning that in whatever state I'm in, I have to learn how to adapt and overcome my personal issues with Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, Linktree, whatever issues you're having with networking with people socially. Uh, one thing I learned from Mr. Ivan is that we're not supposed to social distance, which physically we're supposed to distance ourselves. However, it's very important that we continue to socially connect, meaning you can do it online. You can do it through Zoom. You can do it via a conference call, but making sure that we connect with the people that we're supposed to connect with in order to make things happen in our businesses, in our churches, in our women organizations, whatever you're connected to. This is the place to get the information right here with Tea Time with Terza to help you navigate through the processes of your business. So again, welcome to It's Tea Time with Terza. Dr. Ivan Meisner, uh, he wrote this book, Network Like a Pro. So I want you all, while I'm getting the book as well, I want you all to go through that book with me. We want to be able to network with one another, to be able to see where we can serve one another. But at the same time, we just need to build on our relationship so we can begin to trust one another in a, in, in a way that says, listen, Sister Teresa does this, that, and the other. Maybe she could help you. Or maybe... Sister Quetta uh, does this, that, and the other. Maybe she could help you with this, that, and the other. Whatever that issue or whatever that 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 problem is, if you know a person that can fill that void or bring a solution to a problem, start focusing on where you can connect those people. Uh, a lot of times in businesses, we don't know uh, specific persons that can do certain things like with uh, speaking. Who do you know that can speak to that issue? You know, uh, if that person is working with children and you need someone to come in and show you how to run your child care center and you know someone that has successfully run a particular daycare center, then you can connect that person with someone that's just starting out, so on and so forth. So what I've learned from Mr. Ivan Meisner about building a powerful personal uh, network, uh, whether it's person to person or whether or not it's an online, is our ability to network with one another. You know, um, he was saying something about your EQ, your emotional um quote, uh, the ability to internet with other, other people, business networking and sex is the name of another book, not necessarily sex S E X as in that, but the male and female perspective. Um, he stated that 91% of networkers said that being able to Interact with people was the cause of the success of their business. So we want to make sure that we learn certain things like the butterfly effect. Okay. Um, first, you start with the mindset. Two questions I want you to be able to ask. And one, it is when you go to a networking event, I want you to focus on asking a person these two questions. One, are you here to sell or are you here to buy? And 90% of the time, the person will probably say, I'm here to sell. Well, it is Mr. Ivan Meisner's um, suggestion that you don't go into a networking event looking to buy or uh, sell anything. You want to get yourself in a position to build relationships. It's the reason why I started our podcast is so that I can get to know my viewing audience so I can know where I fit into their lives. And if I speak to a 
part of you. That's why I asked you to send me the emails so that I'll know what type of topics you want me to cover. That's why I tell you to send me an email if you're having a personal issue. If it's something that I could do to help with that issue, I'll help you with that issue. Or I could suggest somebody else to help you with that issue. That's how relationships are built. They're built upon us opening up, being transparent. That's why I am your vision of transparency. There's a three other ways to connect. And I can't remember exactly how he put this, but it's called the VCR. I'm sorry, the VCP, which is visible credibility, and profitability. These are the three ways that people need to be able to connect with you and network with you. First of all, you have to be visible. You have to be seen. And I think I, I talked about that a little bit about um, being heard. Well, in order to be heard, you have to be visible to the person, whether it's in a podcast, whether it's on um some type of video, person to person at a networking event or what have you, it's very important that you heard. But when you're heard, you want to make sure you bring in value to those people to solve problems and be able to share with them the most important things about your business based on your results that you have acquired over time. So the VCP principle is visible credibility, meaning what you're good at. What is it that you're, what, what are you doing? Okay. Your profitability is uh, willing to, are you willing to refer somebody? Whenever you refer somebody that to say for instance, one person to another person, if you're having a meeting with something, there's something that you don't have, I think it's very important that you take it upon yourself to give that person a connect, a referral to let them know, hey, so-and-so could use you. Sharon could use you. Miss Clover could use you. Mr. Johnson can use you for, uh, use your services for X, Y, and Z. So we want to make sure that we use the principle of uh, VCP, visible credibility and profitability. In order to gain profit, you need referrals. Re your business needs referrals. The best way that I can serve you and help solve, solve your issues is to what I called, called change your mindset. I'm here to help change your mindset. I want to be able to reach you that's the main reason why I'm here, to restore you to a right frame of mind concerning who you are and what you were brought here to do in this world, to encourage you, to help you understand that you have what it takes to make it in this world and that you are <clears throat> chosen for a time such as this to be able to do great things. I want to be able to aspire you. I desire to aspire you, inspire you to aspire to something greater than what you see. When I inspire you by being who I am, hopefully with great hope, I am encouraging you and inspiring you, encouraging you to aspire to something greater than what you see, to be the difference that you desire to see in the earth. When I speak in terms of um, changing, creating change within your life. I want you to go from not just being an entrepreneur, but a successful entrepreneur. I want you to be able to develop relationships and create relationships where you are prospering in your business. That's the change I want to see you take place. That's the idea of having this radio podcast is so that when you hear the principles and the information that I use on this show, you can go back, research it for yourself. Like Mr. Ivan Meisner, he has, as I said before, a networking group. It's not about just having one specific group, but you may need uh, possibly may possibly need several different networking groups to be able to build your network of people that need your services. I am a part of well, 
I didn't actually sign up, but I'm connected to the Chamber of Commerce in Mount Holly. I've also connected on LinkedIn where the gentleman gave me the information about BMI of which I researched and found Mr. Ivy Meisner. I was listening to a podcast where, not a podcast, I was listening, preparing to listen to my workout music and an advertisement came in about a uh, money mindset um, shift. And that's how I connected with Toy and Crandall. I think it's very important that we connect with different networks in order to build our network. Okay. And so our own personal network. And so that that way we can build our businesses based on relationships and not just by someone being able to buy from you. So the other thing is um, your mindset, getting into the mindset of doing it the right way. We want to be able to network in the right way so that we could bring more people to their genre of people, their niche. And in order to do that, you have to connect with people. You have to connect with people um, face to face. Networking is a contact sport, you know. Yes, we need to physically distance ourselves, but not socially, you know, or virtually. We can have a one-on-one -on -one session. And so um, I think you should be a part of both. And that's why I'm here. I connect with you on social media with Strength and Honor Women. I connect with you on social media with um, Faces of Life. International Ministries. I I connect with you on social media with Terza V Andrews, my Facebook page. And so I want you to begin to do the same things. One thing I've learned is that when you want to do or be successful in something, you do what successful people are doing or have done. And so I consider myself to be a success story. I've come a long way. I'm not where I want to be, but I've come a long way from where I was. And I want to encourage you all that as you continue to listen to It's Tea Time with Terza, I want you to get into the mindset that you want to make a difference. Okay. Here's a formula for connecting with people face to face. 24 7 30. Okay. It's a follow-up system that I got from Mr. Ivan Meisner. Within 24 hours, you need to follow up with the person by a handwritten letter, an email, or a note. Okay. Uh, letting them know that it was great to meet them. Okay. And then the seven day connect is on social media. Go to where that person is on social media. All right. Meet them where they are, not where you want to be, but where they are. Okay. And then uh, ask in 30 days to have a one to one in person meeting, not to do any selling, you know, just get to know more about the person. Okay. To increase your network. And so that's all I have for you all today. I thank you so much for joining me here with It's Tea Time with Terza. Remember to tell a friend, share, view, subscribe this video, pass it on, pass this podcast on. I said video, but podcast. Pass the podcast on to those that you know that can benefit from It's Tea Time with Terza. My name is Terza Andrews. It's been my pleasure. Have an amazing day, and I look forward to speaking with you soon. Peace.